this video, we are going to learn more about how to do transformations with exponential functions. So these examples say graph y equals 2 to the x in line 1 of Desmos. Then graph the functions below and answer the questions. So on example 1, we have y equals 4 times 2 raised to the power of x. When we type this in Desmos, we want to type it exactly as, as it is here with the parentheses and everything. So let's go over to Desmos. When you go to desmos.com, you can click on graphing calculator. And my first problem is y equals 2 raised to the power of x. That's line 1. And in line 2, I'm going to type y equals 4 parentheses 2 close parentheses, and I'm going to raise that to the power of x. What we want to do here is we want to see what's kind of happening. And it's kind of hard to visualize this. But let's look at our table of values. Remember, to get your table of values, you're going to click on the settings gear, and then you'll click on table. And let's do that for both of them. When I look at my tables, look at your y values. If I take my y value here and multiply it by 4, I get this y value. 0.5 times 4 is 2. 1 times 4 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. And 4 times 4 is 16. This is what happens when you have a vertical stretch. So if we look back over at our notes, how it is different is there has been a vertical stretch by 4 because we were multiplying by 4. That number comes from this number right outside here. Let's look at example 2. So I'm going to go back over to Desmos. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and type in my new equation here. So this one is y equals and then I have 1 divided by 4 parentheses 2, parentheses raised to the power of x. And if you look at this one, this one has been sh uh, shrunk, so it's a shrink. And if you look at your table of values, what you've done is taken each one of these and divided them by 4. So 0.25 divided by 4 is this one. 0.5 divided by 4 is 0.125. 1 divided by 4 is 0.25. 2 divided by 4 is 0.5, and 4 divided by 4 is 1. So when this happens, this is a vertical shrink. By 1 fourth. And then let's see what happens for example 3. So this one is y equals, and then we have negative parentheses 2, close parentheses, raised to the power of x. This one is a little bit more easy to see. This is called a reflection. And if you look at your table of values, you'll see that your y values are the same, but they are opposite signs. When this happens, that's when you get a reflection across your x-axis. All of these numbers come from the outside, so the number in front of the parentheses. So if you look at this, it's the same equation that we had last class. The only thing different is now this a value. This a out in front represents your vertical stretch, shrink, and or reflection across the x-axis. Remember in your last video, you also learned that your H is your horizontal shift and that your K is your vertical shift. So the only thing that is new is the purple. So let's go over the rules for the purple one. For the purple one, you will have a vertical stretch if the value of A is greater than 1.
A will be a vertical string if A is between 0 and 1. And then A will be a reflection if A is negative. So if your number is negative, it is automatically a reflection. Then stop thinking about the negative and look at the number itself. If that number itself is greater than 1, then it is also a stretch. If the number itself is between 0 and 1, then it is also a shrink. A graph can have both a vertical stretch and a reflection. A graph can have both a vertical shrink and a reflection. A graph cannot have a vertical stretch and a vertical shrink. So you can be a reflection and a stretch. You can be a reflection and a shrink, but you cannot be both a stretch and a shrink. And again, you're going to need to know these things here to help you figure each of those out. So let's practice that. On example one, it says, what are, is the transformation of the graph y equals one half raised to the power of x if it is changed to negative four times one half to the power of x? The only thing that's different here is we have this negative four out in front. The negative tells us that it is a reflection. The four tells us it is a vertical stretch by four. So the negative told us it was a reflection. The four told us it was a stretch because four is a number that is greater than one. If we look at example two, it says, what is the transformation of the graph y equals one third to the x if it is changed to y equals nine times one third to the power of x? The only thing different here is the 9. 9 is a number greater than 1, so this would be a vertical stretch by 9. On example 3, it says, what is the transformation of the graph y equals 8 to the power of x if it is changed to y equals 1 half times 8 to the power of x? The only thing that's different is this one half that is out in front. One half is a number that is between zero and one. So this one is a vertical shrink by one half. Down here, it says list all of the transformations of the following functions if the parent function, so the original function, is f of x equals 4 to the power of x. If I look at example 4, the first thing that I see that is different from the original is that I have this negative out in front. The negative out in front tells me that this is a reflection. The next thing that I see that is different is this plus 3 on the end. This plus three on the end tells me that it is going up three units. Those are the only two things that are different from this original problem. Let's look at example five. I have f of x equals one half times four to the x plus seven. The first thing that I see is this one half out in front of the parentheses. This one half is a number between zero and one. So this tells me that there is a vertical shrink by one half. The next thing that I see that's different is that in my exponent, I have x plus seven. That tells me that this graph went left seven units. On example six, the first thing that I notice is this negative sign. The negative sign tells me that there has been a reflection. The next thing that I notice is the two. 
the two is a number greater than one. So this is a vertical stretch by a factor of two. The next thing that I notice is that my exponent is now x minus one. X minus one tells me that this function went right one unit. And the last thing that is different, whoops, yeah, that's right, is this minus eight. This minus eight tells me that this went down eight units.